A flood of memories after the loss of a local politician and community leader who made a big impact here in the Mahoning Valley. Harry Michelle died today at the age of 93. Now politicians and members of the community are coming together to remember a life well lived. 27 First News reporter Dan Marcel is live in the studio. Well, good evening, Mandy. It can be uh, tough for uh, us reporters uh, to tell these kinds of stories. How do you tell everything you can about a person's life in two or three minutes? But the one thing that I did keep hearing over and over about Harry was that he fought for the underdogs. And in speaking with the people that I did, it's very clear he left quite a legacy. He was a political icon and he represented the best of what it is to be in public service. He was advocating for the people and he was the best at you know, really telling that underdog story. After serving in World War II, Harry Michelle would eventually be elected to the Ohio Senate in 1971 and serve for 22 years, five terms. He also served in that time as the president of the state Senate. He left the Senate in 1993 to become the chairman of the Ohio Democratic Party. Just really like a gut punch today when I found out that he passed away. Always been a leader, a legend, uh, out front with all the causes that were important to, to the valley. Pat Ungaro is the Liberty Township Administrator and the former mayor of Youngstown. He knew and worked with Harry for 50 years. He just cared about people and he was uh, special in that regard that he would he would work on all issues that, that would involve the community. Youngstown State also held a place in Michelle's heart. He was a member of the Board of Trustees for nine years and played a key role in building the university's tech center, which is named after him. The university called him, quote, a thoughtful, vocal supporter of the students. And he would talk to us younger people a lot about things that he saw in the past that he didn't like and that he wanted to see us change. Harry Michelle was 93 years old. The one thing I did ask everyone I spoke with was who can fill Harry's legacy. Several of them said no one person would be able to do that.